Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Circle Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Today what I want to talk about is whiplash injury. Probably the single most prevalent uh, injury that happens to the upper cervical spine is whiplash in motor vehicle accidents. Although whiplash can come in a variety of different forms. Uh, uh, sometimes it happens in sports injuries, it can happen in slip and falls, it can happen on roller coasters. So what is whiplash? Whiplash is a rapid acceleration and deceleration of the neck which overcomes the uh, soft tissue uh, that gives the neck integrity. So when you have a whiplash, the head accelerates. Let's say you're in a car, you get rear-ended. The first thing that happens is the head lurches forward and then the head whips backwards. Now because the head weighs 10 to 12 pounds and the top vertebra in the neck weighs 2 ounces, you have a bowling ball sitting on this poor little vertebra and when the head accelerates and decelerates in a whiplash injury it tears the soft tissue. Not only sometimes of the C1 and uh, the skull area but it can also injure the mid, in mid neck and often the low neck. So these whiplash type injuries damage the ligaments that give the joints integrity in the neck and that starts a whole cascade of troubles uh, that for those of you who have been in a whiplash injury that may be listening to this, um, there's a stigma out there. Oh, you were in a car accident. And most people, a lot of times, they think that they're making this up about the things they're experiencing. Now, people who have suffered whiplash, it's very common for them to have cognitive problems. Uh, they go to the bank, they can't remember their PIN number, they go into a, a room in their house and they can't remember why they went in into the room. They go to the grocery store and they come out to find their car and they can't remember where they parked. They're trying, as they're talking to someone, to recall a name or a word and they can't just get the name and the word. And a lot of people, when they have a whiplash injury and they're starting to experience these cognitive problems, uh, it's hard for them to correlate to the whiplash injury because there's no prior education in this um, in this society about how neck injuries can affect cognitive function. So a lot of times these people just kind of bury their cognitive issues and try and act like they're normal, but oftentimes they get really uh, messed up from whiplash. So beyond the cognitive problems, emotional ups and downs, depression, anxiety, PTSD about getting in a car again, these are very common, neck pain, headaches, uh, lower back problems, Frequently, people who are in whiplash have sleep trouble, and a lot of people have sinus problems. There's a whole host of problems that can stem from a whiplash, from a whiplash injury, and here's why. The head, like I told you, weighs 10 to 12 pounds. It sits on this poor little bone called the atlas, and when you have a bowling ball sitting on a two-ounce bone and you have a whiplash injury, that segment can become misaligned. In that segment, once it's injured, once the soft tissue and the ligaments get damaged and the vertebra gets locked under the head, it does not self-correct. So oftentimes I have people come in and they say, yeah, well, I had a whiplash injury 15 years ago. Like, well, it was 15 years ago. It would have been fine by now, right? And they've been suffering for 15 years with a lot of the problems that I just brought up and they never correlated the two. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a whiplash injury and you damage the soft tissue and the ligaments that give the joints integrity, that segment becomes locked, it irritates the cord, it does not fix itself unless you either have a really lucky another trauma that dislodges it or you get to someone like our office that specializes in determining exactly which vertebra, which joint, how it's built, how it's off, and gets it back under the body's control. So we've seen... I mean, well over a thousand whiplash cases in our practice career, which is about 18 years, and they usually respond beautifully to upper cervical work. Um, and so, if you're one of these people who's been everywhere, you've had the massages, you've taken the OTC medication, you've been to the neurologist, they've taken MRIs, and no one knows what the heck is going on, if you're suffering with chronic problems that stem from a whiplash injury, this is most likely what's going on. We do offer a free consultation in our office. We have two offices, one's in Los Angeles and that phone number is 213-399-7772. In our Carson office, which is near Torrance, that phone number is 310-324-6172.
We offer free consultation. If you're outside of the Los Angeles area, you've come across this video, it makes sense to you. I just described you, how you're feeling and what you've been through and no one's been able to help. If you are interested, you can call our office. We'd be happy to find you someone that practices the upper cervical work in your location and find you someone that can help you. Hope this uh, information got into the hands, or I should say the eyeballs and the ears of people online who are suffering, um, that are looking for natural uh, health solutions. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.